Simon, what do you see as the main conclusion from your Voidwatch report? The main conclusion from our Voidwatch report is that not a lot has changed in the Parliament post Lisbon. The Parliament is still a very political, a party political institution where most of the voting and the coalitions are formed along party lines. And most, a lot of citizens or the media or interest groups don't really realise that. They think it's all about national interests. What we find repeatedly is votes split along party lines. Sometimes you get a grand coalition of the biggest groups in the middle of the Parliament. Sometimes votes are split left against right. And when they split left against right, the Liberals in the middle of the Parliament find themselves as being pivotal in deciding whether the left wins or the right wins. You're saying the Liberals are the real party that holds the power, the biggest party, the EPP, is not as powerful as it seems. That's right. I mean, the EPP uh, would like to have a grand coalition on lots of issues so they can negotiate with the Council and the Parliament can stand together as a bloc. About half of the time that happens and then the EPP are guaranteed that they will get something out of this. But about half of the time it splits. And when, 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 it's, when the EPP and Socialists are not voting together, sometimes the EPP wins, sometimes it doesn't. It tends to be by issue by issue. So, for example, on economic issues or economic regulation or um, the economic governance uh, and EMU, the Liberals are often voting with the right and then the EPP is winning. But on issues like environment, civil liberties, gender equality and development, the Liberals are often voting with the left and then you get the left winning. You've done a great job at achieving more transparency for what happens at the European Parliament. You're now looking at the European Council. How is that going along? Well, what we'd like to do is do similar things with the Council. So uh, the Council has already increased its transparency considerably compared to 10 or even 5 years ago. So the Council has a lot of information about what goes on in Council meetings in the minutes and when votes are taken place in the Council they record those votes. The problem is so few things ever go to a vote in the Council. What, would, what we as vote watch and what most citizens want the media want, we want the documents. We want to see who sponsors the legislative amendments in the Council. Because now in the Council, governments co sponsor amendments and we want to see which governments sponsor what amendments so we can look at coalition patterns in the formation of legislation. That information is not currently available and that's the type of information we need to be able to make it transparent. Okay, thanks and good luck. Thank